Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Gran Turismo 7's S3 lap challenge here to eventually get the super license. So of course today we were doing the uh, racing as the Nissan Sylvia Sylvia The Nissan S15 touring car on the Su so, on a controller, uh, with relative ease, jokingly, it probably took me a couple of times to get this, but I was able to get a gold medal, so please bear with me on the multiple attempts that we shall now do to get a gold trophy. So, time to beat is one minute dead, I got a 101.4. So let us recall how this circuit drives. They're gonna come up to turn one. I'm gonna break immediately, but apparently the AI ghost is going very wide. We're gonna kind of follow it out over here, duck in into the apex here, full throttle here. We're gonna break here and go out very far, missing our apex absolutely completely. Kind of following the racing line to the outside, break a little bit, coast a little bit, hit the inside, rumble strip, fall on the inside of the corner, let it gradually go on the outside, come back to the inside, break hard, down to second gear, we're going to come along here, hitting that inside, not quite hitting the outside rumble strip, but going full throttle, fourth gear, higher revs to the fifth gear, we're going to kind of break a little bit and coast. Scratchly put back on the throttle here. Got to tap the brakes a little bit to let it to stop it from understeering. We got a 101.5, so nearly equaling my time of 101.4. I think hitting one minute is dead is very achievable. So let's try that again. Of course, this car's got all sorts of you know downforce. It's got reduced weight. It's got grippier racing tires, so this car is just completely different to the Ferrari F50, which was heavy, mid-engined, and it just felt like a boat. This car, it's light on its feet, even though I brake like garbage and I just let it go so far out. It's so light, so nimble, it's so grippy, it's got all sorts of downforce. I mean, it's just completely different, and I love it. Honestly, if I could have a car like this in real life, I would. This is just fantastic to drive. It feels easier to drive than the F50. It really does. The F50 it feels like you're trying to wrangle a beast. This one here, yes, you are definitely trying to fight for control, but it's not going to bite your head off, that's for sure. It, it definitely doesn't feel like with any minute mistake that it's going to bite your head off. But here we go. One minute point five. Keep in mind that was attempt number two so let's see what attempt number three brings us. If I can break on time in that middle chicane down there that middle hairpin I think we might be able to make our time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> third gear up into the fourth going to the Gradually get up to fifth. I don't know. We're going to switch out though. We're going to break just slightly and let it coast. Going to break a little bit to make sure that we don't go too wide. We're definitely in grass on that one there. Going to cross the line with a one minute point two. Going to coast through all of this. Put the power back. We're turning the wheel as much as we can. Yeah, 101.3. Nope. Just kind of let it coast. Gradually on the brakes, we're going wide. Ah. Touching the grass a little bit to help the rotation on the inside. 107. Kind of coasting here, putting the power back down. Hopefully getting a little bit of additional rotation by loosening grip on the inside. One minute point one. <laughs> oh, this is a lot. A lot more difficult than it makes it out to be. You get all sorts of time back when you first try it out and you're thinking, oh, I'm just gonna 
breeze past this one. Most of you probably have. This one is challenging for me, to say the least. I probably don't need to be shifting down the second gear anymore. It's just a light tap of the brakes, so it's... Yes, you lose a little bit of the RPM, but you're not going... Not losing that much there. Up into fifth. Again, we're gonna... Coast here. Slowly bring back the power. Not all the way, though. Ha! Ha ha! Oh, there we go. That's all I needed. Like I said, I was just looking for those two to three tenths. I wasn't looking to beat it by a minute. You know, that's good enough for me. <laughs> but yeah, that is a fun little car. It really is. I understand why the drift community loves it so much, because it's just... If you get all the amenities and stuff out of it, it can be really lightweight, and it's a rear-wheel drive car as well, I believe. So, I mean, it's just... Yeah, great little car. S3 is down. S4. Oh, no. Doing the 1997 Toyota Supra GT500 around the Toyota Expressway south counterclockwise I am not looking forward to that one I've made great progress recently in being able to master maybe not master master is quite a uh, quite the word to be saying in that regard but bettering myself about not rubbing so many walls in the expressway uh, this configuration is probably going to be one of the more difficult ones for me, as I've normally done just like the basic loop, I guess. So, we're going to see how that one works out next time. Again, Super License S4. Again, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, tell me what times you got in S3. I'd love to see, you know, some tips, tricks, hints, you know, anything that you guys have found in, you know, whether it be general advice or even uh, specific stories about how you were able to overcome uh, S1 through 4 or 5 or 10 or absolutely anything you've got to say. Again, would love to hear about it. Very interesting stuff in my opinion. So again, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye.